Hey guys, here I am playing a little bit more here of Mac. Uh, I'm truly enjoying this game. So far, this is like the game, the PlayStation 4 game that I've been playing the most. Um, very surpar surprisingly liking this game a lot. Um, here, I think I'm on mission 8. I think this is it. Understood. Ryder and Lucas have already reached the wasteland. I already have a video uploaded where I uh, talk about this game and the things that I like about this game. Um, the graphics, I gotta say the graphics, in-game graphics, and here, like like you see right here in the cutscenes, they look pretty damn sharp. They look pretty damn awesome. Very cool animation and everything. Very nice. Um, okay. Uh, another thing that has me hooked up to this game is the mobile game that came out for free for Android devices. I've been playing it a lot on my uh, Galaxy Note 3. Let's see if there's something over here. Uh, I like um, searching for stuff here because sometimes you discover things that you wouldn't think otherwise to search there. Like right here. Man, this looks like a fall as a wall. Oops. Oh crap. I'm playing a little bit sloppy here. I guess this slows me down. I gotta be careful here cuz... And this... Mud. Is this mud or something? Because this slows me down really, really bad. Let's see if there's anything over here. When you're playing this game, <laughs> one thing that you have to keep in mind is that you have to keep searching the walls. Because uh, a lot of times there's going to be hidden passages where you're going to be able to um, unlock relics to upgrade your character. Like neck right now, like you see over here at the top, I have three power I could use. Oh crap. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> Gain some health here because one hit and I'm done. Yep. See if there's anything. Oh, yeah, look at that. Look at that. There we go. Who would have thought this was a, a Fars Wall? Start using my power. Other circumstances, I will not use it. But since I'm recording the video, I don't want to be dying all the time. And most of the time, the way that I play this game, I save all my power for very, very later. I start using it when I'm when I complete all the circles that you see there in the top. When I complete all the circles, that's when I start using my my powers. There you go. And let me see something. Let me see if I got some. Oh yes, look at this. I got some. These that you see right here are unlocked by playing the game. So I've been unlocking, there you go, oh yeah, parts detector indicates when Knack is near relics. That is very convenient, that's awesome. Uh, this, I also unlocked it. And this, I also unlocked it. 
not bad. So right here, I don't have nothing more. The relic unlocked. Oh crap. Oh my god. Get up there. Another thing that I didn't realize about this game. Oh, look at that. Did you see that thing that that turned on right there, red? Okay. I don't know if you noticed, but right before I collected those relics, there was a red Thing that popped up on the screen. Oh, sucker. Oh, this is a big boy. Another thing that I wanted to ask during this video is that lately it's been pretty slow for PlayStation Vita and um, at this time I'm at the moment that I want to try out games that I haven't played yet and uh, there's two games that I'm very curious about and it's uh, Dragon's Crown and uh, Persona 4 those two games like you see right here do you see right there in the corner that something's lighting red? Okay, yeah, because I'm right here. Okay, that's what that does. Okay, so talking about what I was asking you guys is that I was thinking about asking you guys what game from those two games, what game should I pick so I can try out for the first time? I'm between, like I said, I'm between those two games, uh, Dragon's Crown and Persona 4. I'm a little bit more inclined to Dragon's Crown because um, it's a it's a more action RPG game, and I, if I'm not mistaken, Persona 4 is a true hardcore RPG game. If I'm not mistaken, so and that's why I'm a little bit more inclined. Crap! You're not gonna kill me, sucker. <sighs> So that's why I'm a little bit more inclined to Dragon's Crown. But I want to I want to ask you guys what you guys think which one would you guys would like me to pick up and play. Or if there's an, any other game that you guys think I would like. Oh my god, he could have killed me right there. If there's another game that you guys think I would like let me know but keep in mind i do not like rpg games i'm not one of those hardcore not even mildly attracted to rpg games um the rpg games that i played before are like um, one of my favorite rpg games was final fantasy X. that was like my only final fantasy game that i've ever played uh, completely through Completely through because I loved it. I don't know, but I don't know what what was what was from that game that I actually liked, but I did like it a lot. So other than that, I haven't played other RPGs. I did. I have played our action RPGs like um, I think Mass Effect is considered action RPG. I think um, some people would call that action RPG. I played that before. Um, there's a classic game. I don't know if you guys uh, ever played it. I know somebody's played it. Um, it's called Parasite Eve. Parasite Eve 2, I think it was. Uh, that was on the PlayStation 1. It's a classic game. That's another RPG game that I played completely. But I don't really know if that's a... I think that was a hardcore 
think it was like an action RPG or horror RPG, but I don't know about that game. I was so freaking addicted to that game. That game was so awesome. Um, and let me see, no break, no. And that's, yeah, that's one of those RPG games that I played and I truly loved and I played it till the end. I was actually gonna pick that game up on Parasite Eve. I was actually gonna pick that game up from the classic lineup for PlayStation Vita. Because right now I can pick that game up for PlayStation Vita if I want it. But you know, it would look so pixelated because that's a PlayStation 1 game. Um, but I, I was actually gonna pick it up so I could include it in my video because I have a playlist for those that haven't been to my channel or are new to my channel. I have a playlist where <laughs> now that comes in very handy. I have a playlist where I, pl uh, I play PlayStation 1 games. Let me see before I go down. PlayStation 1 games on my PlayStation Vita. Or sometimes I pick classic PlayStation um, portable games, PSP games on my PlayStation Vita. And I have a playlist in my, ch in my channel that says PlayStation classic games on PlayStation Vita. And I include them this there. So that Parasite Eve is problems. one of the games that I've been thinking of purchasing for my PlayStation Vita uh, playlist. Whoa. Okay. But enough with that. Let's talk about this game. Like I said before, this game, I am very enjoying it a lot. Uh, one of the games Oh crap Oh my god, look at this. I'm about to die here. I better use the power if I want to survive the next match And I gotta say, as you get farther in this game, there's gonna be a lot of good, nice platforming here. And like I said, I had to do it, I had to use it, because one hit and I could be done. Ooh, that's a lot of dirt. Oh man, he's gonna get big as hell there. <laughs> nice. There's one of the abilities in this game that I'm I'm it's it's very cool and I'm surprised that we haven't used it that much in this game and this is his ability to become invisible. Oh man, that's okay, a very good. cool power he ha he actually um, uses while using some kind of crystals. Uh, I think it's mission five or I think it's level five or four. There's a level where you have to um, do some stealthing. Oh, look at that! And he takes some he takes some crystals and he can with the triangle you make him invisible. And he could go through lasers undetectable, and it's freaking awesome. Careful. And I can't believe um, I'm so far in the game and we haven't used that power again. I didn't hear him because I was talking. What am I supposed to do here? <laughs> oh man, am I gonna die here? Okay. <laughs> okay, so I guess that's like a very powerful magnet. Has a very powerful. This thing is a very powerful. Okay. Now what? Am I 
supposed to hit this again? I don't know. Over here. I think he released this magnet released all the metal. Nice. Go. There's any fake wall here. Try to get past this. Wow, that was a big, big, big slam. I barely use that move, you know, guys. I don't really like the big slam. I, like I said before, my favorite move is the tornado-like move. Okay. More weapons parts. We'll need to find a better target. Shutting down this building isn't going to accomplish much. Okay. Oof. Okay, I guess I could get bigger here. I gotta say, the puzzles in this game are pretty good too. I like the puzzles in this game, they're not that hard, but for those people that don't like puzzles, I don't think you're gonna be disappointed here. They're, they're not that hard in this game. There you go. What is this? Did you break this? Uh, I guess not. Let me get bigger before I go through. See if I could get bigger. Whoa. There you go. There you go. I love finding these. These walls. Come on. Ah, oh, crap, another crystal. <laughs> I need a bunch of these. back over there. No, I don't. Yeah. <laughs> 
What are they doing here? Assembling the parts into tanks and other weapons. this okay harvester okay Challenging because these things are these blocks on the floor are generating. Oh my god! <laughs> so yes, I think I'm done here for now. So guys, thanks for watching the video. Till next time, guys. Hope you guys enjoy.